In the first half of the 20th century, few writers took note of the changes that had taken place in women's lives during and immediately following World War I. During the war, large numbers of women were called on to replace men who were serving in the armed forces. Women learned new skills, earned money, and had the experience of working outside the four walls of their homes. Shortly after the war, women won the biggest battle they had ever waged when they were granted the right to vote. The British author D. H. Lawrence was among the first major writers to acknowledge the new breed of women who were emerging, women who had ambitions for higher educations and jobs. Lawrence's masterpieces, The Rainbow and Women in Love, span three generations of a family's history, contrasting the older, traditional farm wives with their daughters. Ursula is one of the young women who seeks a career and independence. Lawrence treats her ambitions as an unfair invasion of the man's world. What she could not get because she was a human being, fellow to the rest of mankind, she would get because she was a female. Eventually, Ursula succumbs to strong pressure from her suitor and gives up her struggle for independence, completely submitting to him in a conventional marriage. Ursula's sister, Gudrun, a sculptor, is one of the first literary portraits of a woman as artist. Gudrun's commitment to her art keeps her from giving in to her passion for the local mine owner's son.